Hi, I'm Kristen King from The Investing Channel, and you're watching Pink Diamond, the show where we help you find the diamonds in the rough of the pink sheet and small cap market. As with much of the rest of the market, the last weeks of August have been pretty quiet in pink sheet and OTC stocks. That's not to say there hasn't been any activity. Wall Street pros seem to be using the vacation period to research some of these small and microcap stocks. As we can see in this chart that uses data from Trackstar IQ, our proprietary search tracking database. During August, institutional investors searched for information on over 1,000 OTC and pink sheet tickers. On average, each of these stocks was the subject of 24 searches from 17 Wall Street professionals. Of course, some stocks got considerably more attention than others, and the chart highlights the top 20 most researched OTC and pink sheet listed names in the database during August. The OTC markets are full of surprises and unexpected finds, which of course is the premise of this program. There are companies from all over the world and businesses from almost every sector and industry that you can think of, and a few more that you probably haven't considered. One sector that you might not expect to find represented among OTC and pink sheet stocks is investment banking and M&A advisory, and yet there are companies in that line of business. One such stock is Phi Group, which can trace its roots all the way back to a Nevada corporation called JR Consulting that was founded in 1982. Since then, there have been a couple of name changes and changes of domicile with the business initially relocating to California before moving to Wyoming in 2017. Phi Group is led by chair and CEO Henry D. Fahman, who has more than 30 years experience in finance, investing, and corporate strategy. He is a graduate of the University of California at Berkeley and the Harvard Business School. The business operates across several divisions, including advisory and consulting services, a Luxembourg-based fund management business, and a proprietary investment division with an emphasis on sustainable investing in agriculture, renewable energy, healthcare, real estate, and commodities within emerging markets. In early August, the company announced that it signed a letter of intent with Indonesia's CYFS Group to sponsor a new and disruptive carbon mitigation initiative that aims to provide a solution using a decentralized carbon market system and blockchain technology with which to empower environmentally sustainable projects across Southeast Asia. It's one of the region's and the world's largest thermal coal producers, so there should be plenty of opportunities for carbon mitigation strategies in the country and its export markets. In the last few days, we have seen further news from the company regarding share ownership, with the executive chair, Henry D. Fahman, converting outstanding debt in the form of unpaid salaries worth $550,000 into common stock in the company. Tina Fan, the company's secretary and treasurer, also converted the $217,000 worth of debt she owned in lieu of unpaid salaries. Mr. Fahman was quoted as saying that, Our commitment to Phi Group and to Phil shareholders has never been stronger. We strongly believe in future success for our company and stand firm by our long-term shareholders. He added that, after years of laying the groundwork, Phi Group is ready to capitalize on those efforts with many exciting and cutting-edge ventures. Wall Street traders have been paying attention, and 156 of them have taken the time to research the business over the last month, making 212 ticker searches, according to Traxar IQ data. Phi Group's stock price rose by 12% on the news of the debt-to-equity conversions, having risen by 32% just a few days earlier. Over the quarter, the stock has risen by 93% and it has posted 24 new highs over the year to date. We have also seen some very active trading days over the last week, with volumes traded exceeding 300 million shares on three separate occasions. This remains a highly speculative situation, but there is a suggestion that Phi Group is now gathering some momentum as a business after a number of false starts in the past. Of course, the onus remains on the company and its partners to execute their strategy and deliver tangible results from the deals and ventures they strike. However, the market seems to be giving the stock the benefit of the doubt, which means we should certainly be watching the share price from here. That's all we have time for today, but as usual, make sure you do your own due diligence before making any investment decisions. To find out more about our Trackstar IQ data, sign up to our free newsletter at investingchannel.com trackstar.